This is John Beeth with Let's Talk Outdoors and SportsShrimping.com. I'm out here in the Strait of Juan de Fuca and I want to show you some of my tricks for getting shrimp. The first thing I'm going to talk about is where to go. I like to get on a ledge. So I'm going to show you my, my uh, depth sounder and show you the ledge I'm going to drop on. So the next thing is the kind of pots. Uh, there's three kinds of pots. The first kind is a, uh, a ramp pot. And this ramp has lots of holes for the shrimp to go in versus a tunnel where they all come to here. Now this tunnel trap I've adjusted and I've put other holes right here. And once I did that, it tripled in production. So it's really important to have the right kind of pot. The third kind of pot is a uh, Ladner style pot and they stack and there's a Ladner pot and these things weigh about 30 pounds and I'll show you how they come together but they sit on the bottom and they get quite a few shrimp but not quite as as good as my other sh shrimp pots. Okay with the Ladner trap here's how the tunnels come together you put it together um, take it apart and you can stack several pots and then you want to get a bait jar that has a hook and then you just clip the hook in and then that's going to hang straight down and then this has a drawstring at the bottom so when you pull this and have shrimp you want to have a large bucket and you just hold it over the bucket and open up the drawstring so the next part of the equation is the bait so here's my bait formula. I go to the dollar store and I buy these $1 boxes of instant mashed potatoes. So one box of instant mashed potatoes, about two cups of dry cat food, four cups of frisky canned cat food, and one cup of 100% Alaskan fish fertilizer. Mix that all together and you come up with this this gooey mess oh and two cans of mackerel also from the dollar store so ideally we want to soak our pots for about an hour so we want this to dis disperse in the water get as many shrimp as possible the next thing I want to show you is my magnum shrimp light and I put these in the pots and it lights up the way the shrimp love the light and the pots with the light seem to do better so I'm gonna put two pots with lights and two without and we'll see which which does better now one of the things we do with our shrimp pots out here in the Strait of Juan de Fuca is anchoring them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this anchor right here and it's on its own line and it's got a clip I'm going to drop my pot over and go 30 to 40 feet down and then clip this right onto the line and that's going to actually anchor the buoy. We're not anchoring the pot, we're anchoring the buoy and that way the buoy doesn't pull on the pot and have it skidding along the bottom. I'll let it go down a few feet, 20 or 30, flip on, toss that anchor over, and away we go. To pull our pots, we're using the, the Discovery Bay Marine Gear Power Hauler. This thing works really, really well. There's a few shrimp in there. All right, let's bring it up. Just a few. 
that's at least 120. I'd say there's more like 160 or so in there. We'll count them up. Here we are pulling pot two. This is the pot that I switched from a tunnel to a ramp. And this power hauler is bringing up 150 feet per minute. It's got a 1.8 horsepower motor. And one nice thing about it, if I stop, you can let go completely and it holds your line right here with this unique design. And we're just basically coiling it into a bucket. If you got a big enough bucket, you can just let it fall in. We're gonna see how many shrimp we get out of this pot. Wow, there's a few in there. Boy, hold on here. Okay, it's loose. That first pot had 141. And this one's probably got 100. We're getting close. Having the ramp sure makes a difference versus just having one little hole for the shrimp to come in. Now it's got several. All right, here's our round pot, not nearly as many. Okay, bring it in. We have an escapee. All right. Okay, now. Now here's how you empty these. You gotta hold it up, open it. No. Close, no. close. You ready? Yep. All right, drop it. There's a bunch right here. There's three limits, 120 each, of shrimp. I think we did okay. That's three poles right there. When we set our pots, one of the things that we do is we write down not only the date, but the number of the buoy, where it's at as far as the waypoint number, and then once we bring it up, how many shrimp were in the pot. That way we can look at where the best shrimping was and go back there either that day or the next day or next week. Our soak time is about an hour.